Hey everyone, this is Zephyr, with a quick video on wall height, which has recently migrated and been taken over by Ripper, the same developer behind levels and better roofs. Part of this update is there is a migration process that you may need to go through to have your scenes and prefabs working properly, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that today. When you first enable the module, you'll have a pop-up from Ripper with some information, and it will automatically begin migrating your scenes and scene compendiums to work with the new wall height data structure. As we go through this, I am going to point out how to migrate every aspect of your game that uses wall heights. If you need any more specific or written instructions, check the description for a link to the wall height repository on Foundry, where you can also read about all of these changes. This migration process is very important as previous data structure is going to give you the incorrect wall heights. If you've had any issues with wall heights in your scenes, you probably need to migrate. When you finish this automatic migration, you can go to your configure settings and go into wall height to adjust the default token height. This was previously housed under levels, but has now been moved into wall height. You can also tick a box to have this migrate wall height data on startup so that it will automatically migrate any scenes or scene compendiums that need to be migrated to the latest version of wall height. We'll see that on this scene, which I had installed previously, it now has the proper wall heights. Before I did the migration, it was showing at negative infinity to infinity. And again, this happens automatically when you first enable the module. So we're all set and not having any issues on this particular scene. We'll note though that if I bring in a prefab actor here from the Bailiwicky Towns module, that these walls are not correct. They should be spanning from zero to nine feet, giving us a 10 foot tall building. Unfortunately, they're coming in with that negative infinity to infinity. But Kyle Guy at Token Attacher has created macros to have this migration process taken care of for us. The first macro that we'll use is to migrate actors for wall height. We'll also import this migrate compendiums for wall height, but more on that later. When we're ready, we'll open up our macros and we will search for that TA migrate actors for wall height macro. When we execute it, there are no immediate pop-ups on the screen. The process is pretty quick, so you might be able to just close and use your next actor. But if you wanna make sure that you're finished and you wanna look at what actors individually got migrated, press F12 to open up your console. You can see those error messages from when we brought in the actor before it was migrated. And then we can click on each of these individual actors to see which ones were actually migrated. Once we're done, we can close up the console and we can go back to our actors directory and bring in that same prefab that had wall issues earlier. And we'll see that now the wall heights are correct and it is properly displaying from zero to nine. So we have a good working prefab. And delete the old one so that I don't have any issues or mistakes. And then again, just to reiterate, We'll have to do this separately for the prefabs in compendiums. We're going to do that later. I just want to demonstrate that, unfortunately, the wall height is not automatic in those compendiums. If we install a new module, such as the recently released Modular City Districts 2 and 3, we'll have to then update those particular scenes and compendiums as well. We'll see that if I bring in this trinket shop that hasn't been migrated, it is going to have incorrect wall heights. And again, I activated this module after I'd already done that automatic migration. So the fix is pretty simple. We can just go into our macros compendium that is included with wall height. And we can see there is an array of macros here included for the migration process. And we can migrate the current scene if we've already imported the scene. This is the only one that we've imported. Just executing the macro is enough to update those walls to the proper data structure. So it's very painless if you do happen to import a scene before you've migrated. You can also run a macro for migrating everything once again. And when we execute this migrate compendiums, wall height is going to intelligently migrate all of our scenes compendiums that have not yet been migrated for the new data structure. And just to demonstrate that for you, I am going to re-import that scene and bring it in with the proper wall heights immediately without having to need to use the migrate current scene macro. So once again, importing, saving, and we'll go ahead and view the scene. 
and on hover we can see that it has the proper heights. So no more clipping and not being able to get into the building because of incorrect heights. As I mentioned earlier though, the prefab compendiums are not going to automatically migrate. And to migrate those, we first need to toggle the edit locks on all of our prefab compendiums. We need to make sure that they're all unlocked. We'll also want to go in and toggle the edit locks on the compendiums that we don't want to migrate. We want to make sure that those actor compendiums are locked. That way we're not going to be wasting time migrating things that aren't actual prefabs. The TA macro is going to crawl through all of our actor companions that we have unlocked and none of the ones that we have locked. So we'll just again go into our macros and look for that token attacher migrate companions for wall height macro and hit execute. This one to make sure that you're giving everything enough time I would highly recommend opening up the console with F12 and we'll see that it is going to individually go through and tell us when it's finished migrating the elements of each prefab and how many entries were migrated. Some of them are pretty lengthy, so make sure that you give it plenty of time to go through. And when it is finished, it's going to tell us that it's finished migrating for a certain number of compendiums. And that's when you know you are good to go. So there we go. It is done migrating elements in the town prefabs. And we can see that it is done migrating a total of just under 3,000 elements in 10 compendiums. So we know that we are done. And now, when I go into my actors, I can then bring in a prefab from one of these districts. And we will see that when we drag it in, it now will have the proper walls and everything good to go. This process is pretty straightforward. The important part is remembering to have the appropriate compendiums locked and unlocked. That way everything migrates as expected. With our prefab compendiums migrated, that's everything done and dusted. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. If you've had any issues with wall height recently, such as things being from negative infinity to infinity, you probably need to do one of the migration steps here. Within the next month or so, hopefully every module that uses wall height will complete this migration already, so you won't have to repeat this process again. But just in case you do, this video is here for you as a resource. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. This has been Zephyr for the BaileyWiki channel. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good one.